Good morning to you all and a welcome to Wyndham College's first ever set of virtual open events. My name is Mrs Terry and I will be your host for this morning's webinar. We hope that you enjoy all that we have to show you and say to you. Um, we have quite a varied programme of speakers and a couple of short videos to show. So without further delay, um, let me hand over to Mr Browning, our head teacher, to welcome you more formally. Mr Browning, over to you. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. A few points of housekeeping first. Um, firstly, to make you aware, this is a live event. So the students that you will be hearing from and members of staff today are all delivering this webinar live. It will be recorded and uploaded to our website and YouTube channel if you'd like to view it again another time. The question um, and answer facility is open and we have someone ready to answer your questions. So if you would like to type those in, you'll get an answer as quickly as possible and we will create a frequently asked question sheet to send out to you next week. At the end of today's webinar, we ask you to fill in a short survey, which will give us some feedback of how we can make these events even more useful in the future. You'll be shown two videos today, one um, with a couple of members of the senior leadership team and some shots of the college, and the second video made by Head Teachers Council only this week to showcase the college from a student's point of view. There are a whole host of videos available on our YouTube channel, including a full 12 minute tour of the campus, which I have to say I enjoyed filming on my golf cart. So let's move on to a more formal welcome. We find ourselves in unusual times currently. Um, we would normally be having an open day today and generally in our eight open days throughout the year, we would welcome probably over a thousand visitors onto the college campus for each one. You would have been met at the car park by some of our students and taken over to the Lincoln Atrium at the heart of our sixth form boarding house and following some refreshment and discussions with staff, you would have been taken on a tour by students of our 83 acre campus. Students in all that we do are front and center. I'm delighted today that you're going to hear from some year 13 and some year eight students as well. My part of an open day normally is to deliver a short speech in the college chapel, which is at the heart of our community and is housed in one of the remaining buildings left from the dark days of the Second World War, when the site was used by the American military as the largest American hospital outside of the United States. After the Second World War, in a brief period of time that the site was used as a teacher training college, it was then the vision of Sir Lincoln Ralphs, who was then head of the Norfolk Education Committee, to establish a state boarding school accessible to all with the highest possible academic traditions found in the independent sector, but with a focus on holistic education where what happens outside of the classroom has equal importance to what happens in the classroom. So Lincoln set our motto in 1951 as let wisdom flourish, floreat sapientia. And we still stay true to his vision today as we move next year into our 70th anniversary. Our context is currently we are the largest of the state boarding schools in Britain. We're a leading member of the Boarding School Association and we're one of only two schools that have been admitted to the HMC, the Headmasters and Headmistresses Conference, which represents the 200 highest performing independent schools in Britain. We were one of the first schools in the country to be awarded the world-class school accolade, and many of our departments have awards for their work. Only this year, six of our academic departments received awards for their leadership and curriculum development from the Prince's Teaching Institute. For our students, the house is the center of their world. Our day students, day plus and boarders will spend much of their time in and around their boarding house, which is really a small family within a much larger family. Our boarding staff are there to support them and you'll hear more 
about that from Mr McMoran shortly. Uh, 83 acres of rural Norfolk countryside allow us to have very much space and our facilities include indoor swimming pool, sports pitches, astroturf and world-class academic facilities as well. Over the last few years, there's been many millions of pounds investment. We have a new building called the Peter Rout Centre and more new buildings, including our prep school, due to open for September next year. Our culture is based on that original ethos set by Sir Lincoln Ralphs back in 1951. Our values of pride, passion and positivity have never been more important than they are now during these uncertain times. We're a very internationally minded school. We have students from across the entire world, as well as students that live much closer to the college campus. But we celebrate diversity in all its forms and in every opportunity that we have. Academic success is at the core of what we do. We are in the top 10% of schools nationally for progress and the highest performing sixth form in Norfolk and indeed in East Anglia. However, our Wyndham Life provision, which is our extracurricular offer, um, usually has 65 or more clubs available for students per week. Many of them are run, um, delivered by students, but they also include things like army cadets, air cadets, of course, a whole range of sports clubs as well. For me, Wyndham College is a family. It's my home and of our 439 members of staff, and many of them, it's their home and for around half of our students. It is a unique family. It is a special family. And I hope that many of you will choose to join us in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Browning. Our next welcome will be provided by Mr. McMoran. Mr. McMoran is a deputy head teacher for boarding and behaviour here at Wyndham College, um, and he's just taken his seat. So I will hand over to Mr. McMoran straight away. Thank you, Ms. Terry. And can I extend Mr. Browning's welcome to all of you who are joining us this morning? I hope over the course of uh, the next half an hour or so, you get very much the sense that I got from Wyndham College when I first stepped onto the campus, probably some 15 years ago now. Um, I, I had been working nearby uh, at another local school and a friend had got a place at the college and she said, you need to come and have a look um, at this place. And so I did. I took it up on her invitation and I had an hour or so walking around, uh, going around the boarding houses, popping into lessons and, and just embracing uh, the college ethos. And it was a profound day for me because I knew about Wyndham College. I'd lived locally and I knew it was a wonderful school and had a reputation for its academics and, and its sport. But until I had walked around myself, I didn't quite get how special it, it was. And something resonated with me during that initial visit that implored me to apply for a job as soon as one uh, came available. And that very special feeling that I had on, on day one has, has remained with me for these last 15 years. Indeed, it has grown. And it is my hope that through, these, uh, through the ether, through the internet, you'll get a, a sense of that uh, today. I have to admit, when I arrived, I had no boarding experience myself. I had not gone to a boarding school uh, and neither had I worked in a boarding school. And if I'm really honest with you, I probably would have wondered why parents might send their children to a boarding school. Um, I might have had some kind of uh, strange sense that parents were seeking to go off to the Algarve uh, for much of September and, and sending children to boarding school would facilitate that. Uh, I wondered whether really parents had, had the time to do what they might want to do um, I was a little unsure. What is clear to me now, having been involved in boarding at the school for over 10 years now, is that parents send their children to boarding school because they love their children, because they want for them the best experience possible. And that is what a boarding education does. I'm going to talk about three reasons why I think that is particularly true of, of Wyndham College. Firstly, I think fundamentally children enjoy being with children. Um, and no matter what we do as adults and how supportive we might be, uh, actually, young people want to be with other young people. And at the college, we're really lucky that those young people come from all over the world, from all walks of life. Um, children at this school, from the moment they wake up until the moment they are uh, put to sleep and, and, and their lights are turned up by matrons, 
will be with young people from all over the world. Um, and there will be a sense that they can find out who they are as young people, that there is no sense that we are, uh, they are conforming to a certain type, that they are going to be like other people. That individual journey of selfhood and identity is one that all of the young people, particularly those in boarding, I think really enjoy. Children also like stability. They also like routine, um, even though they might uh, push against that sometimes. So having routines around organising themselves in the morning and getting ready for school, having routines about getting to the football club on time, about having prep organised and sorted and handed in and teachers being happy. And again, a boarding life enables that as well. Um, in, in a sense, there are high amounts of structure in place that enables a nurturing and independence and maturity that for some of our day students, that will surely come, of course, but possibly not until they're much older. The structure that a boarding uh, life offers, I think enables our young people to grow up a little bit faster, uh, a little bit quicker. We're, we're very lucky in the school that our, our academic vision is, is significant. And it might be one of the reasons that you are applying and thinking about sending your, your children here. But we very much believe that the GCSE or A-level results that the young people receive is only really a, a part of their, their journey with us. And ultimately, we are hoping that our young people grow and that their characters develop so that they are citizens that we will all be proud of. And of course, in, in lessons, their intellectual curiosity, all those virtues around um, uh, creativity and critical thinking, those will be developed. But in the boarding world in particular, other, other virtues, moral virtues, civic virtues around being part of the community, about having empathy, about showing appreciation for other people, all of those are developed um, very, very significantly. And I just think that at the end of their time here, our boarders walk away from us a little bit more grown up, a little bit more resilient, a little bit more prepared to take on the challenges that a modern world will create. Now, it sounds a little daunting, I know, that for uh, an 11 year old to embrace all of these things, that that will be a challenge. Uh, indeed, I myself, when I went to university at 18 years old, found parts of all of that difficult. But your young person can do all of these things and more. And part of the reason for that is that they will be surrounded by a world of people in the boarding houses who will help them continue that journey. So Mr. Browning talked about the boarding houses being central. Uh, they're each uh, led by a head of house. Uh, that person is incredibly important uh, in a family's life. Uh, they will be almost like a, a mini headmaster within this large school. But they're supported by a range of people, uh, not least their deputy heads of house, they will have a pastoral uh, element to their role and look after the houses at the weekends. We have a wonderful set of matrons. So these are ladies, typically could be gentlemen, uh, but people who work just in the boarding houses. They are there at the point at which the children come back from school at 3.45 and will be with the young people during the evening. Overnight, they'll be the last people that the, the young people see before they, they close their eyes. They'll also be the first people that they will see in the morning. They will wake them up, help them prepare for school, and then send them to school, hopefully, uh, in, a very, very, in a very good place. We have uh, members of staff called graduate boarding assistants. Uh, these are recent graduates who probably will be interested in a, a, a profession in teaching or, or dealing with young people. Uh, and they are wonderfully supportive characters in the boarding houses. Um, they have youth, um, invention, energy, um, and very much become kind of big brother, big sister uh, roles who will be supporting them. Um, and also the children themselves. Um, we deliberately have a vertical structure in our boarding houses um, so that if you are starting, there will always be a, an older uh, pupil on the landing in the common room who can help you through any kind of difficulties that the young people might have. And the final people involved in that, that support in that journey are parents. And we recognise that for you, uh, Trusting us to look after your most prized possessions is, is a big choice that you are making. And we will support you as parents in terms of that journey. So to conclude, before I hand back to Mr. Browning, I feel you've all made a momentous first step in terms of watching this, this webinar with us. That I think is a ringing endorsement that you feel your children might be able to, to benefit from this journey. I very much hope that you take the next step in that journey perhaps applying, perhaps coming to an open event, hopefully when that is uh, allowed, and perhaps walking onto the site yourselves, much as I did uh, 15 years ago. And I am sure that you will feel uh, the same warmth 
the same sense of community, the same vibrancy that brought me here and has kept me here all those years, all these years. If that is to be the case, then I very much look forward to seeing you in person uh, and speaking further about boarding at Wyndham College. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. McMorran. So far, you've heard about the college from its staff. Um, now we would like to provide you with our student perspective. Um, to start, um, let me introduce our head boy, Michael. Hi everyone, I'm Michael Selgren, the current head boy at Wyndham College. And it is fantastic to be speaking to all of you, although not in a way that I'm much used to via Zoom to our virtual open day. I joined Wyndham College as a boarder in year 12. Up until then, I hadn't had much experience of living away from home. I remember thinking to myself as I arrived at the college with my large suitcase, well, this is home for the next two years. I do hope the neighbors are nice. And as it turns out, they were very lovely people indeed. In my first week, I was meeting new people, learning new routines and adapting to the boarding lifestyle. What fascinated me most when I first joined the college was how diverse and accepting our community is. We have students from all over England and even international students from many different backgrounds. Being a boarder feels like being part of a small, close-knit community and everyone soon develops a very strong bond with each other. From my personal experience, being a core boarder has helped shape the way that I view the college. After all, this isn't just school to me, this is home. I don't just study here, I live here. And you can see how this same sense of belonging reflects in other people who live on site as well. The college community really looks after their surroundings and their environment. One of the bonuses you'll get from being a boarder is having extended access to all the fantastic facilities that we have on site. We have lots of Wyndham Life activities on offer to boarders. That in the evenings, you can join clubs, you can play football on the fields, or you can use a gym after you've done all your work. Each house organizes activities for boarders who stay weekends, so there is always something to do. Another brilliant aspect of boarding is not having to commute to and from the college. Staying on site means you can wake up just a little bit later, but still be on time for your lesson, because the only traveling you'll have to do in that morning is the short walk from your boarding house to your tutor lesson. Whilst we're on the topic of lessons, being a boarder means you have designated prep time, which is where you sit down and do your work from the day. For the younger years, prep is supervised. And for the older years, you get checked on by a member of staff often throughout the duration of prep. So you can be very productive during this time. An added perk of having a member of staff on duty during prep is that they are able to help you with any work that you're struggling with. What I love about boarding is the opportunity to learn so many valuable life skills. You will learn to do your own laundry, learn how to manage your time effectively to fit into your very busy schedule, learn how to make friends, and you'll get a taste of what it is like to live independently. As I've been told, some of these skills are very important for later on in life. Some of my fondest memories from year 12 have been the experiences I've had as a boarder. There have been some really, really funny moments in the boarding house, as you'd expect when you have teenagers living with each other. Someone once said that being a boarder is like having a sleepover with your best friend every day. You get to do so much more with each other and you don't just get to meet each other during lesson times. I've had many day pupils tell me that they wished they were boarders because they could bond with their friends better and they would be able to spend more time at the college. As I've already mentioned, we do have a very strong sense of community feel here. But being a boarder means that you are at the very heart of the Wyndham College community. If you do come here, I'm certain that you'll have some of the best years of your academic life and make some lasting friendships. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, Michael. That was great. Um, I'd now like to introduce two of our Year 8 students, Leila and Kunle, both of whom are boarding students with us, um, and they're going to give you a little bit of an insight from their perspective. Leila, Kunle, over to you. Life as a boarder is amazing. There's so much stuff to do. You're never bored, and even with COVID-19, everything is still really good. Um, life as a boarder is really fun because we get to do a lot of amazing, amazing things like swimming, basketball, football and more. Although life as a boarder is fun, we still have to get on with um, classwork and we, have, we, we, we also have an hour to do prep on computers or in our books. I'm an international student. I come from Gibraltar, which is at the very bottom of Spain, but it's still English. I'll hopefully be here until sixth form. I've been boarding since year seven, so I would say this is my second year of it. It's so easy to make friends here, and all of the staff are incredibly nice. I've been boarding for about four months, and ever since I found it really easy to make friends. Even when there's a group of us, we still get along and have a good time. Being a boarder is also fun, because on the weekends, we get to keep our phones, um, which is only on Saturdays. And sometimes, if we're lucky, we get to order food and have a movie night. I was most scared about not doing well academically, but since I've been here, something has changed. I feel more confident than ever. If you're ever worried or upset, there's always some, someone there for you. Even if it's a teacher, a friend, someone from another year, there's always someone there. Boarding has helped me with lots of other things, like taking responsibility and, just, and taking care of myself. It also helps me to be a better kid and teaches me not to judge people on what they look like and teaches us how to stay fit and strong. When you start to board, you take on this responsibility because you know that you have to take care of yourself. Honestly, I like feeling this. It makes you feel grown up. When I was younger, I wasn't very confident, but something's changed and you feel amazing. In Wyndham College, there are lots of activities and opportunities like joining the football team, swimming team, um, but most likely not now because of COVID-19 but there's still the hockey team, basketball team, or even the netball team. There are also other clubs like cooking club or chess club. If you're a person who likes sports, this school has a wide range of options you can do. Although this year is limited, but I'm still doing my favorite sports. If you like acting or singing, you can join the choir or do lambda. Say if you're playing a netball or football match and the umpire or referee sees you, you can be asked to play for them. The same with drama. If you're doing a production and someone sees you act, you'll be recognised. If anything goes wrong in the school, you should always speak to a teacher, an adult, or maybe even a friend. Um, but if things get really bad, I would usually call my parents. But fortunately, um, there's never been a case where I've had to do that. If you need help, talk to somebody. It's the best thing you can do. Let it all out. Teachers, GBAs, your friends. When you come into the boarding community, you change. You change in a good way. Since I've come to the school, I feel more confident with myself. Confident in how I concentrate and work. You feel confident as a person, which is important. Wyndham College has changed my life forever and has taught me how to take care of myself. To be honest, I can't remember a time I've ever got bored at this school because there's a variety of things I can do, like hang with my friends or watch a movie or even play football on the huge astro field. And there's never been a time where I've felt sad or gotten upset in this school. Last year, I took part in the school production, Billy Elliot, and was thrilled when I got one of the lead roles of Debbie. As well as school production, I went to different matches in netball, some away and some home, which was amazing. In Wyndham College, there's a massive range of stuff you can do. And honestly, we've never felt bored here because there's always something to do. Wyndham College has made me into a better person. And even though I'm still in year eight, I feel like I, do, I can do anything. Lena Kunle, thank you so much. That was brilliant. At this stage, what we want to do now is show you a couple of videos of our college, um, just to give you more of a flavour of what's on offer. Um, the second video was actually produced just this week um, by our Head Teachers Council. Um, and just a bit of a warning that you might need to turn up the sound for that one. Um, bear with me and I'll get these videos going.
Welcome to Wyndham College, the country's largest state boarding school, situated in 83 acres in the heart of rural Norfolk. Our students are a diverse group of young people who come from all corners of the world and have vastly different experiences, but this makes our community a rich one, a culturally diverse one, and one where children make friendships for life. We offer a world-class boarding and educational experience at a fraction of the cost of the independent sector with no compromise on quality. Education is free, you simply pay to stay. Lincoln Hall is our bespoke £8 million sixth form centre. It's just for the use of the sixth form. We have our own refectory, piazza, atrium, study spaces, a computer suite, and our student boarders live here as well. In the first few weeks, the support for our boarders is significant. Their matrons, their boarding staff, and their fellow pupils will make sure that any homesickness, any anxiety is quickly resolved. Our Floriac programme includes a whole host of societies created and run by our students. From debating, medicine and Chinese, to languages, engineering, everyone can find something to further enrich their educational experience. So boarding is a big jump, a big adventure, but our staff are on hand to support them every step of the way, whether that's a short conversation or something more significant, they are part of our community. In our 70th year, we continue to stay true to our founders' vision to offer a holistic education focused on the whole child, to let wisdom flourish. Floriat Sapientia. Apart from the extensive educational support and the high class accommodation and educational facilities, for me as an international student who had never studied before in England, the most important thing about William College was its acceptance, tolerance and incorporation of diversity on a daily basis and the opportunity to grow within the college and realise your full potential. So therefore this is what for me makes the world class cool. Uh, one thing that's most notable to me is the support we get with regards to extracurricular activities. Uh, there is a significant amount of support given to us to apply to universities and also for Oxford applicants as well. Um, there is also an array of support for people who um, require work experiences too, so in the legal profession or in medicine or finance. Um, there's lots of opportunities to build personal statement to make it stellar to, to get the place in the university. Women College is a place for academia. It's where students and teachers can have intellectual conversations with each other and really expand past the curriculum should they so desire. Women College is a world class school because they are very accepting and they help people grow, especially myself. I've been here since year seven and I've been accepted into the community and this community is so amazing that I didn't want to leave and I came here for sixth form. I'm so happy I'm here. For me, what makes Wyndham College a world-class school is how encouraging and supportive the staff and students here in order to make the school even more of a successful environment to learn in. I think for me, being a boarder and having lots of people from all different backgrounds all over England, we do have quite a fair few international students as well. So bearing in mind they're coming from all over the place, coming here, the boarding staff are actually really good at helping us all settle in. But I settled in within my first like two weeks, so I think that's one of the strong points we've got here. Windham College provides students with a wide range of opportunities ranging from academic support to extracurricular activities and so much more and it is a very diverse community and I can say that this has allowed me to fit in really easily and find myself at ease. It is my second home. For me as I come from an, Af an East African country, seeing everyone from different places in England and different places around the world coming together as one big family, it makes me really happy and accepted and that's what I think makes it a world class.
these videos are really just a small element of those we have available to demonstrate our college um, and there are others available on our YouTube page if you wanted to have a look. Um, our event really is now drawing to a close. Um, so for a final word, um, I will pass the baton back to our head teacher, Mr. Browning. Thank you so much, Jane. And thank you to all the students and staff that have joined us today. And a special thank you to everybody that's joined us to learn more about what makes Wyndham College a world-class and unique school. A reminder that at the end of the presentation, um, we will ask you to fill in a short survey about your experiences. Uh, we, we always want to listen to feedback. It's how we get even better as an institution. Please do remember that we have a Twitter page, a Facebook page, a huge amount of information on our website. And as Jane just said, many videos, including my golf buggy ex extraordinary uh, tour of the college, which really does have to be seen to be believed. Um, thank you once again for joining us. And I hope to meet many of you very soon. Bye bye. Thank you, Mr. Browning. Um, this really does mark the end of our event for this morning. Um, so I just want to take the opportunity to thank you all again for your participation and um, just a, a huge goodbye from all of us. Goodbye.